All right, um, a work in progress continues. Um, I believe I'm as finished with this as I'm going to be. For the niece, I did an altered book, a pocket book, and you can see that it has the Prima Flowers and some bling and the Graphic 45 Steampunk. Um, I might still um, do a clear coat, triple thick clear, so it's real glossy. I don't know. I'm not too sure if I'm going to add that on it or not. But if I had, I wouldn't be able to touch it to show you. So, yeah, it takes a real long time to dry. There's the completed pocketbook. And I used the Tim Holtz measuring tape. And I thought we'd just leave it looped up real high so it can hang. Um, I'm happy. <laughs> I hope she is. Dear Leslie, didn't have to do too much more to the um, altered CDs that go in there, except maybe sign the back. They have some little bits and pieces. There goes the doorbell. Um, that's a jingle bell on the inside of the house that my puppy dog, she'll ring that when she wants to go out. So I better hurry up or we'll just hear that ringing bell. Graphic 45 paper again, steampunk debutante. Tim Holtz uh, swivel clasp and one of the keys that says heart, a little shaker, a plastic crystal, and an old watch part. Um, these are the tags that I'm going to include inside. Uh, Amelia Earhart on um, postage, or not postage, it could be used for postage. This is one of my drawings of, um, I call her Amelia. This is a photo print of one of my drawings. Some more Graphic 45. I just think that paper is so pretty. Oh, this one fell down. Another Graphic 45 and I just did a little um, embellishment of a flower I had made and put stickles on. It's made from a paper punch and then cut and glued together. And one last thing that I wanted to include in here is I had mentioned before in a previous video that I did a workshop um, in Rochester, New York, and that was in June. So that's my uh, card that I had given everybody that was in my workshop, and this is me. Actually, it says Aunt Dar on it. I dressed up as steampunk. 95% of this outfit was all... Um, thrift store finds the blouse and I kind of cheated on the corset the pocket watch and the chains and stuff I had even the boots for ten dollars vinyl boots from the thrift store um, old wedding gown veil and stuff that I had taken apart in a dress and I had made up um, this I I purchased and put a cameo on it the hat was 50 cents after Halloween last year and I added the tool on it uh, the gloves were full. I cut the hands off and um, had the fingers sticking out, and I painted it. They were white, and I painted them black to give it that zeddy look. That's what I was saying about steampunk that I love so much, is that it's uh, Victorian, but you can put a little punk to it and have fun. So I hope she's going to enjoy this book. I had a lot of fun finishing up for her. And again, if you'd like to see how I make my lined pocketbooks, you can come over to um, Ustream. My stream name is Artie Dar, and I come on live at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope you enjoy, and thank you, Marianne, again for the challenge that we can get some projects accomplished.